harpies, dragons, and manchies. What mythological mysteries will be unraveled in the second round of the Sea Beasties and Myths and Monsters division? Let's find out. I am MC Marmot, and this is the mystery of March Mammal Madness. <laughs> The Crypt Keeper Wasp arrived in Papua New Guinea and began exploring. She strolled along a branch and brushed against the Ifrit's nest made of plant fibers and feathers. The toxic feathers can even affect insects. The Crypt Keeper Wasp flew off, leaving the Ifrit victorious. The pink bent fish traveled back in time some 47 million years and found itself in open waters with no place to hide. It felt vulnerable, and it was. The anchovy ambushed the pink bent fish and chomped its way to the sweet 16. The ghost bat was transported to the Peruvian forest and settled in a tree. It was quiet. Too quiet. With a sudden crash, the bat was grabbed by a Terra. The interloper Terra opened its jaws when boom, the harpy eagle's talons sunk into the Terra. For a moment, all three animals were airborne. Then the harpy flew off with the Terra, while the broken ghost bat fell lifeless to the forest floor. See, I've got major news. Okay, the Midgaria Sea Star was on the ocean floor I'm waiting. waiting for the battle, right? The Yeti Crab was thousands of stoats away, eating bacteria off her claws near a hydrothermal vent. So, March Mammal Magic happened, right? Wrong! The Yeti Crab just ignored it. It just kept eating bacteria and like, it did, it just, you can do this? You can ignore March Mammal Magic? The Yeti Crab forfeits. And it, the Yeti Crab's gone rogue. Do the scientists know you can do this? This battle between extinct creatures takes place 10 million years in the past, which is the Platyzilla's present day and 60 million years in the Ammonite's future. It's complicated. At any rate, the Ammonite spun away from the approaching Platyzilla, but too late. The Platyzilla chomped and broke a tooth at the end of the Ammonite's shell. The startled Platyzilla swam away, leaving the Ammonite the unexpected winner. met on the forest floor in Gabon. They side-eyed each other. The tension was thick. The chimpanzee climbed up a tree. The mandrel watched curiously. The chimpanzee tried to reach into a nest, but was scared away by a furious crowned hawk eagle. Get out of here, man! And quickly ran off the field of battle, leaving the mandrel unscathed and the still side-eyeing winner. The devil frog sat down by a stream in Costa Rica, taking in the sights of the present day. The jumping pit viper slowly slithered by. The devil frog sized up the viper as being possibly too large to eat. The viper, however, was in search of a mammal meal and slithered on by, leaving the sedentary devil frog as the bemused winner. In the dark depths of the ocean, the dragonfish and vampire squid would sense each other, getting nearer and nearer. The dragonfish struck. The vampire squid turned itself inside out to form a defensive posture. The dragonfish 
was unimpressed and opened its jaws wide to attack. But suddenly flared with light. The dragonfish chomped a few tentacles, but then made its escape, leaving the squid damaged but victorious. This is getting more and more mysterious. The remaining 16 contenders have many tricks up their sleeves, or shells, wings, whatever. How can a suspect resist the pull of March Mammal Magic? Most curious. We are still on the case. Join us next time for the Sweet 16. I am MC Marmot, and this is March Mammal Madness.